Hi guys, Bitulu Alashe here. If you're new to my channel, you're very welcome. And if this isn't your first time here, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. So these days, thanks to advancements in the tech space, technological devices have become a very active and integral part of our lives. So important are they to us that deciding which to pick isn't such a simple decision to make. In the light of this, to guide you with your gadget making decisions, here at 10 Nigerian Tech YouTubers best that you should know. So Canon launched three printers last year, one of which is a Canon Pixma G3400. And Canon was gracious enough to send one to review. And upon opening the box, you should see about eight accessories. So you have two black inks and three colored inks. It also comes with two print heads, power adapter, and of course... Now, the phone is not different from what we saw last year on the Galaxy S8. One of the things that they just did now is just to reduce the bezel. We have reduced bezels and we have slightly brighter screen. One other thing is the fingerprint reader. The fingerprint reader was moved from the side to below the camera. I'll let you in on what the body looks like. I'm sure you can even see it yourself, but um, it's got the volume rocker on this side, right? The power on off button here the USB Type-C charging port just beneath here, the mouthpiece here as well, uh, the home key, it's not an actual button. So guys, here is the Techno Camo CM. It comes in the black box, a lot to unbox the device. Looking at the device, I got the Champagne Gold color. And let me set that aside. Let's see what else is in the box. Here we have the biggest noticeable change from the S8 is the placement of the fingerprint scanner. It has moved from the side of the camera to the bottom for easy access, which is pretty nice. By little margins, the S9 and the S9 Plus will be part of the biggest smartphone in the market at 5.8 inch and 6.2 inch respectively. Straight off the bat, this is Techno's first device for the year 2018 and it looks really very nice. It's got a slim frame and a tall frame to it. Um, it's got an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. It's a 5.7 inch um, HD plus screen. It's got a 13 megapixel um, camera to the front. And with a 2017 is a year of busyless smartphones. We've seen a couple of uh, busyless display smartphones from brands like Apple, Samsung, and a few others. Now, not only do you get busyless display smartphones at a premium um, price tag, you can actually get almost busyless display smartphones at uh, a budget. Sam here, and welcome back to my channel. So this is my review of a Samsung flagship for the beginning of 2018 and about a month ago, about a month ago. I tweeted about the Samsung Galaxy A8 and the A8 Plus and 85,000 of you saw that tweet. This is that video. This is my review of the Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus. Today we're just going to be testing the front facing camera of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4X on my left and the Camon CX, the Techno Camon CX on my right. So basically, let's take a look at some of the colors that we can see. Let's turn around, see what the sky looks like. So let me know. I've got the newly launched Phantom 8, just right in front of me, I'm about to unbox it. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure this looks more compact than the Phantom 6. Uh, Back, you can actually go check out my Phantom 6 review on my vlog. Uh, it looks very compact, small, and very handy. Uh, this device. So, there you have it, guys. Kind and John take it back, you should know. Please, before you leave, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do watch my videos, like them, share them, and drop comments. I really appreciate all that. You can also check me out on Twitter and Instagram at B2Lalashe, one word, B2Lalashe. Until the next video, B to the I Y I T O L U W A L A S E out. B to the Alashe out.